there. And then she's beautiful. Okay. All right, Bonnie. All right. So, in this, with this particular one, and in most cases, I work with five sheets of identical scrapbook paper. And so the one I'm going to be working with is this Graphic 45 for Christmas. And I'm going to do this Santa here. And then you have these other pieces left over. You can use them for greeting cards or for adding to your scrapbook page or whatever. And so on this one, I just have taken my X-Acto knife and ruler. And I've cut around it. And this is going to be my base piece. So this, everything is going to be built onto this. On top of that, okay. Yes, and then from there, I'm going to go through and I'm going to decide where the levels are going to change. So, obviously, I'm going to want all of Santa and everything on the first level. So I've started cutting here, and you can see I'm cutting around, and I will go in and cut out in here, um, X-Acto knife and fine point scissors are your okay. best friends. Okay. Um, I work with both. All the inside detail I usually do with the X-Acto okay, knife because yeah, very it's, it's very small. Yeah. And so I would just go in and I will just cut around what I want to stay. And you know, you think that it's real precise, but really the eye it's tricky. It will fill in spots. It'll overlook little mistakes yeah, yeah, that you. you would think were going to be just terrible. Yeah. And then it's never even seen on the piece. Yeah, it's like painting a little bit. That, uh, and so I would just keep cutting that out yeah. and around so that this would all be cut out. Mm -hmm. And then I would take the next piece and I'd go, okay, so... I want him, the little jumping jack, to stand out some more, and I want Santa's hat and his arm, and th then what's going to be even layered further out, I will cut out of the next piece, so that I would then cut out just his arm, and around the bear, and around his hat, leaving his face, so that, that you're building You're up building what's layers. getting closer to you yes. and then from there the the last layers were the teddy bear and the doll um, I threw in a couple candy canes and this I actually trimmed off of the other part of the paper and added just for balance I felt it was yeah. was not balancing so I added that to it and I, I did also do some foiling <laughs> but with the glue oh, pin yeah. on it foiling there, guys? Yes. And that's what's so wonderful about the deco foil is you can just add little bits and pieces of it to anything and it's just going to Im make it so much more. Yeah. Create dimension and yeah. yeah. And so in stacking this what I use are um these three D foam squares. Yes. And you just, sometimes you have to cut them to be small enough. Um, but then you just stick it underneath. And, and as you layer up, these will hold your paper out into the layers. Um, and then on the border here, which maybe I'll turn it sideways. I've used foam core uh, for all my, out, all the way around okay. for the final outer edge because it gives such good support okay. to the overall picture. So it's is this an actual canvas that you have there? This is a, yeah, this is an okay. eight by eight um, flat canvas. Okay, all right. And they, they work out great. Yes. They, they're really easy to work yeah. with. And, so it's and 